On this episode of Delivering Marketing Joy, we talk with Megan Corey about being a new rising star in our industry and what it's like to work in an industry with her dad. Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Delivering Marketing Joy. I'm your host, Kirby Hossman, and joining me today, I always say is a rock star, but it's actually a rising star in our industry, Megan Corey. She's a sales manager for Hit Promo. Megan, thanks so much for taking the time. Oh, thank you for having me, Kirby. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. So I want to jump right in on, you know, you were just recognized as one of the rising stars in our industry, and that's that's really cool. So congrats first. Thank uh, you. So I'm always curious. So when you first heard, what was your like first reaction? And then I guess ultimately I got to ask the question, what does it mean to you, right? Yeah, no, um, I was I was very grateful. I was very surprised. Uh, David Schultz, who's now with Common Skew, right. nominated me. I met him through the regional associations and we developed a great relationship through you know, volunteering on the regional boards and through RAC, and um, I got to read, you know, his recommendation for me, and it, w- it was very humbling, and I was I just extremely grateful. You know, there's a lot of amazing reps out there, and, and to be recognized and to kind of have that validation, you know, it it's pretty amazing. So it was, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Sorry, I've got a train coming through right now, which is really exciting, and so. Uh, yes, congratulations. It's a big deal and you should be honored. And uh, yeah, David's a great guy. So uh, it's always cool to get get uh, recognition just from him, right? Yeah. Uh, so, so with you, I know you're, you know, a multi-generation family. I always think it's interesting for people whose parents were or are in our industry. I, my, my parents were in our industry. And so how do you think that that helps or say hurts you as you make a name for yourself in your career? Yeah, so uh, my dad, he's in the industry. He uh, works for Sierra Pacific. Um, my sister, she's in the industry as well. She's with s so we do have this whole van of family uh, in the promo world. Um, I don't think it hurts me in any way. Um, you know, my dad has made a great name for himself and people truly respect him. Uh, I do get a lot of, you know, people looking at me a little funny and they're like, I, I think I know you or how do I know you? And then yeah. they come to puzzle it together that I'm Paul's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, and so, you know, I, I'm very proud of that. I think he's done a great job uh, making a name for himself and mm-hmm. people truly respect him. And so, you know, there's a huge benefit to it. I've never really had a deterrent from having my father be in this industry. And, you know, we're on two different ends of the spectrum. He works more on the um, apparel side. I've done hard goods thus far. And so, you know, we're we're two different boats. So uh, that kind of leaves us for separation as well. So we're not completely, you know, engulfed in it either. Yeah, yeah no, it makes sense. I actually, for what it's worth, I totally agree. I felt like uh, for me, having family that was there before, it gave me an understanding, you know, foundational understanding what the industry was all about, but a um, little bit of uh, credibility walking in the door and then, um, then you know, you got to earn it for yourself and certainly you Absolutely. That. So, yeah. no, that's awesome. So I, I'm curious, as a rising star, you know, obviously you've been recognized because you, so you're doing some things right. So <laughs> what do you think are your strengths and what would you like to see yourself continue to work on? My strengths are definitely my communication, my follow-up, um, you know, I'm definitely a go-getter. I, when I wake up and from the moment I'm up and at it, I'm working and so I, I could do a better job of turning off. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think we all can say that. Uh, but my strengths are, you know, I, I take the day for what it's worth and I give it 100% for my job and for my company for a hit. So um, there's never a moment where I'm, I'm not working in, in that sense of the regards. <laughs> yep, I feel like uh, I'm that. And I'm, I'm very social, I'm very outgoing. Uh, I don't have, I love talking to customers and developing relationships and I think that's been a huge part of the growth in, in this industry is developing those relationships and, and working with people, um, becoming friends with them. So that's a huge, that's a huge advantage for me. Um, disadvantage, I, I really, like I said, I, I need to learn how to turn off. Um, and you know sometimes just slowing down you work yeah. really fast and that can trip you up and make mistakes 
um, especially when you're on the go, when you're traveling, you know, flying, you're, you know, quick to just send a quick text or a quick email and not have any of the pleasantries to go along with that. And that can, that yeah. can cause some issues as well. No, that actually makes total sense. And, and, you know, I think you're right. People still buy from people they like, know, and trust. And you building those relationships and being a great communicator is a huge thing. But you're right on the other side is that, man, it's, it's a recipe for burnout sometimes if you never shut off, right? And right. Uh, you and I were talking before we got started. I don't know that everybody appreciates how much supplier reps and you know people in our industry travel you guys are really hustling and i yeah. i'm so impressed <laughs> I'm so yeah um I'm, I'm on the road a good bit um pretty much leaving on a monday out on the road until thursday i cover about five states currently right now i'm in charlottesville virginia <laughs> in um, a hotel. beautiful city <laughs> i'm in a hotel yeah uh, so you do, um, you know, there's a lot that it takes just to get on the road. You know, you have to make, make sure that you have everything, all your samples shipped, mm -hmm. um, your samples ordered from the factory, uh, catalogs ready. You know, if you're doing a trade show, all of your products that you're getting ready to display, um, hotels booked, flight booked, car rentals, and, and you're doing that all on your own. Yeah. Um, and so you have to really take the time, you know, to plan accordingly because rates, to you know, build up if you don't book ahead of time. So you try to do that in a three-week window. So even when you're going on to the day-to-day -day basis, you have to constantly look into the future, planning for your travels as well. Yeah, that's a great, it's really interesting. And I know we're going off script a little bit or off topic, but the idea that I think so many times sales, it's it's in front of people, it's, it's sort of bubbly, but that talks, that sort of speaks to a logistical uh, side of your brain that are too, they're different, right? Like, right. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, cool. You have certainly answered all of my questions. I really appreciate that. I give everybody a chance to ask me one question. Do you have one for me? Yes. Um, so you have two daughters, right? I do, yeah. And uh, one of them, is she currently working in your office? She or? is, yeah, that's right. She cannot escape me. <laughs> so if you were to give advice to your daughters coming into the industry, if they were to go into an outside sales role, what would that be? Hmm, that's really good. Well, first, I'd have them talk to Megan Corey, right? Uh, you know, I'd always be happy to help. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. So it's funny that you say that. I actually talked to Skylar at one point. She's my oldest daughter, um, and I said, you know, I think that there are opportunities in our industry if if she wanted to do it. I think that the advice I would give is to. Um, you talked about communication and building those relationships. Building relationships is key. And mm -hmm. I think the other side is really empathizing. I think yeah. that um, one of the things I think about with the supplier rep is that you're not ultimately responsible when some, if somebody's going to buy, if that makes sense. And so I don't mean that as a, a negative. I mean it as you need to be a, an ambassador of your company. And mm -hmm. so it isn't like you're necessarily going to say, well, someone's going to buy this mug right? You are going to give all the information, you're going to provide it all, and then you're going to service them and help with all the, the sales side of it. And so I think that building those relationships and becoming an ambassador of your company is what you can do to provide the most value for people. And then I guess the other piece I'd say is be responsive, right? Like right. The, the ones that, and you know this, the, the people who I find myself going back to again and again and again are the ones that I can trust that if I send them an email, if they're able to, they're going to get back to me consistently. Um, certainly everybody understands that you guys are traveling and on a plane and whatever. But if three or four or five or six days goes by, I've already moved on. And right. so I think that would be, those would be the advice is to build the relationships, um, uh, be an ambassador and just communicate, communicate, communicate. So does that make yeah. sense? That, that's great advice. I can definitely heed that on as well. <laughs> Cool. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I really thank appreciate you, it. And uh, we'll do it again sometime, okay? Yeah, I'd love that. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap up this edition of Delivering Marketing Joy. We'll see you next time.